March is Living Well Month. This year, we joined SAMHSA in promoting mental wellness because living well is more than just eating healthy and exercising. And the last 12 months have been challenging, to say the least. Living well involves emotional, spiritual, intellectual, physical, environmental, financial, occupational, and social health. Let's explore how you can work on each of these dimensions of health. Today, we focus on intellectual wellness. Living Well Month, we emphasize raising kids, eating right, and spending smart. But there's more. Intellectual wellness, one aspect of wellness that we often ignore. What is it? The ability to open our minds to new ideas and experiences that can be applied to personal decisions, group interaction, and community betterment. The desire to learn new concepts, improve skills, and seek challenges in pursuit of lifelong learning. Is this what our mind looks like? Perhaps. What is intellectual wellness? Well, it's stimulation and growth, critical thinking, and the ability to take care of ourselves. How can we achieve it? We'll read for fun. Debate an issue with a friend, but choose the viewpoint opposite the one you hold. Learn a foreign language. Play a game. Play a musical instrument, either the one you learned in grade school or try a different one. Pick up a new hobby. Better yet, once you learn it, teach it to someone else. Write down your thoughts or journal frequently. Do crossword or Sudoku puzzles. And perhaps most importantly of all, be active. The more you exercise, the better your brain health will be. Get outside, go for a walk. And remember, living well, raising kids, eating right, and spending smart. NEAFCS.